prototype drug of aldosterone antagonist is spironolactone. First introduced in 1950s, spironolactone was and has been recognized as a potassium sparing diuretic. As our understanding of its therapeutic mechanism advances, it is also now categorized as an aldosterone receptor antagonist. Therapeutically, spironolactone belongs to the category of diuretics. Therapeutic mechanism-wise, spironolactone is a synthetic steroid which works directly at the intracellular level to inactivate spironolactone receptor complex. As the receptor is antagonized, the mediator protein that is in charge of sodium-potassium exchange is inhibited, which in turn prohibits the reabsorption of sodium and interrupts the excretion of potassium. The therapeutic effects of lowering blood pressure and decreasing cardiac preload are then achieved. Commonly used together with thiazide, spironolactone is a drug of choice for hepatic cirrhosis with edema. As a hormonal antagonist, it is used to detect and treat hyperaldosteronism. As a diuretic, spironolactone is used for edema caused by hepatic cirrhosis and heart failure. As an adjunct to ACE inhibitor or loop diuretic, spironolactone is used for severe heart failure. Resulting from its therapeutic effects, spironolactone is also used for resistant hypertension and diuretic-induced hypokalemia. Adverse effects of spironolactone are listed here. GI adverse effects include stomach upset and GI bleeding. Hormonal adverse effects include gynecomastia and inability to maintain erection in male, menstrual irregularities in female. Headache, drowsiness, and lethargy are central nervous system side effects. Metabolic adverse effects include renal failure, hyperkalemia, hyponatremia, and dehydration. A granulocytosis is a hematologic side effect. Adverse effects of an aldosterone antagonist are dose-related. Medication that works on RAS should not be used during pregnancy or breastfeeding. Spironolactone targets on the distal and collecting tubules of the nephron. Therefore, use spironolactone with caution on patients who have renal impairment and or fluid and electrolyte imbalances. Spironolactone commonly used in combination with other medications. It is commonly used with thiazide for hepatic cirrhosis and with ACE inhibitor and loop diuretic for heart failure. When using spironolactone with other medications that can affect blood pressure, precaution on hypotension should be taken. As always, teach the client the adverse effects and how to manage the adverse effects. We also want to teach the female client to report pregnancy and discuss with the physician if wish to breastfeed. Teach the client to take tablets in the morning and or early afternoon to avoid nocturia. Teach the client to avoid excessive potassium intake. Modify diet as needed. Teach the client to monitor blood pressure and heart rate regularly. We need to inform the client to call 911 if experiencing symptoms of heart attack. Monitor potassium level and kidney function on a routine basis by checking basic metabolic panel and follow up with the physician. Monitor elderly patients more closely as they are more susceptible to fluid and electrolyte imbalances. Teach the client prevention of orthostatic hypotension and safety measures. Inform patient possible breast tenderness and enlargement. Here listed are medications, herbs, and diet that could interact with spironolactone. Antihypertensives that work on RAS could add to the effects and adverse effects of spironolactone. Use the combination with caution and monitor blood pressure and heart rate and electrolyte and kidney status. Acetylsalicylic acid, aspirin, and other salicylates decrease or block the therapeutic and diuretic effects of spironolactone. When spironolactone is used with anticoagulants, monitoring PT and INR is necessary because spironolactone could decrease the anticoagulation effect. Low molecule weight heparin 
can increase risk of hyperkalemia of spironolactone. It is not recommended to use NSAIDs, potassium sparing diuretic, and potassium supplement together with spironolactone because of increasing risk of hyperkalemia. When used with lithium and digoxin, spironolactone alter the renal clearance of these two medications, leading to risk of toxicity. The drug levels are to be monitored closely. The aldosterone-like effect of licorice could be antagonized by spironolactone. The ulcer healing quality would be blocked and risk of hypokalemia increases with this combination. Spironolactone can increase BUN and potassium levels and it decreases sodium levels. Granulocytes might be affected in patients using spironolactone. Thank you for spending time with me. I look forward to seeing you in the next lecture.